Here is the Cardinal Stabilator with the trim wheel set at full nose up. I shall ask my glamorous assistant to move the trim to full nose down and you can see the trim tab moving there. If we move into the centre of the stabilator you'll see that the movement of the trim tab is governed by that rod moving backwards and forwards when the trim wheel is operated. Here is the Cardinal trim wheel. It's trimmed at the moment full nose up. If we trim full nose down you can see the pointer moving and the pointer moves in that spiral groove rather like an old-fashioned gramophone record if anybody is old enough to remember such things. On the other side there is a sprocket which moves with the trim wheel and over this sprocket is a chain like so and this chain is connected to cables which run all the way to the back of the aircraft running over pulleys such as these. Here we have a mock-up of the rear of the fuselage of the Cardinal. This piece of wood is masquerading as the rear bulkhead to which is attached this bracket to which is attached this screw jack with a sprocket on the top driven by this chain. The screw jack plunger is attached to this bell crank and this vise is masquerading as the bracket fixed to the bottom of the fuselage with the pivot for this bell, bell crank. When you move the trim wheel in the cockpit these cables will move and move this chain to drive the jack screw so that the jack screw plunger moves up and down like so. This movement is translated through 90 degrees by the bell crank and thus moves the trim control rod backwards and forwards.